I discovered this site onworks.net that allows you to sample the different Linux workstation. Go to OS distributions. We can start with Ubuntu. And here, Ubuntu 20, we could check this out. We can read about it or hit the run online button. The advertising is a bit annoying. So you just scroll down and look for the start button. It does take a little while for it to start up. So you do have to be patient. Once you get the ready command, you hit enter and that will start up the desktop. Again, you have to be patient. And here is a simulation of what the Ubuntu desktop would look like. On the left, you have a panel with different options. You could bring up the Firefox browser. Note that the performance of this environment leaves something to be desired. It's a little bit on the slow side. But here's the browser. You could bring up a new tab, enter your IP address or your website. Okay. All right, so let me close, minimize this. Okay, so I can minimize the browser. You can look at the file system through the file manager interface. So if I click on this, you can see a nice user-friendly graphical uh, view of the file system. It looks somewhat similar to Windows. You can go and view the desktop, your documents, downloads. You can create new files. We'll go back to your home. If you have a document that you wish to edit, LibreOffice is available. It's installed. Okay. And it looks very similar to Microsoft Word. You can try typing and comparing to what you're used to. It's got the file menu at the top. Okay, I will minimize this. You have Access to help here with the question mark. You can click on any of these links to get help on the different topics. GNOME is the desktop. That's the name of the desktop that we're using. There's also at the bottom, looks like a, a grid, which is the applications that comes with this. Okay. So there's some games, there's the Firefox browser, calendar, the file system, the LibreOffice, Mahjong. So you can explore this on your own. Okay. You could also search if you want to see and enter commands from the command line. You can search for the terminal. And here, we have access to the command line. All right, so this should look familiar. This is 
the dollar prompt. Okay. okay, and these are the same folders that we saw in the graphical environment. We could look to see if there's any files in there. But there aren't. We can create a file. We could use VI to create a file. We could um, do grep dash slash etc slash password. And grep command works. The files in the etc directory, those are there. If I want, I can exit from here. I can also invoke a graphical program such as Firefox from this terminal. Okay. Make sure you put the ampersand to put it in the background. And this brings up the Firefox browser. There it is. Close it out. Okay, I closed it out. Let's try doing this again. Here I'm invoking Firefox as a background process. And this will bring up Firefox. Here's the Firefox browser. I could either enlarge or minimize it. So I could have the Firefox browser and the terminal running side by side. So I encourage you to play around with it. It's a little quirky, but it it works. It gives you an idea of what the desktop looks like. Check it out. You can check out the different desktop with, without having to install it on your computer.